So hi everybody, it's Kerry again from Essential Nails. I'm really, really excited about this today actually. So you can see in the pictures, they're all dream catchers. And this is just a little bit of hand painting I do on some of my clients. Now, this all started when somebody bought me a photo and they wanted me to copy it. So I always try and give my clients what they want. And so if they bring me design, I will do my version. And then as I'm finishing it, I usually think, oh, if I do that again, I might do this differently, or I might use a different brush, or I might use a different paint, etc. So each time I do it, it develops and it becomes something that's unique to me. And obviously practice makes perfect. So I think every time you do it, you get better and better and better. So I was talking to my lovely boss, Dave, and I asked him if we could do a challenge. And so I've made this little video to demo how I would do my little dream catcher painting. I'm doing it on an airbrush nail tip on the nail trainer hand. So it doesn't matter about your nail experience or qualification. Everybody can do this and get involved. It's just a little challenge. I'm going to post it up on Facebook. I would love to see your own versions. And if you post your picture in the comments, we're going to pick out our favourite and that person will win a little prize. Um, possibly like one of our new acrylic brushes or something like that. They're really, really lovely. So I said, I said to Dave, pretty please, can we have a little prize and we'll do a little bit of a competition. And he said, yeah, no problem at all. We're hopefully going to do something like this every month, whether it be painting or sculpting or encapsulating glitter or something like that. So I'm just working away here with my little brush and some plain white paint. And it doesn't look particularly neat at first. It it can be really quite scruffy, but I'm just putting a bit of base color down and it's the detail afterwards uh, that I put on that brings my little design to life. But when you look on the internet and you Google pictures of dream catchers or dream catcher nails, we we want to see um, lots of different variations. I mean, you can copy the one I've done if you want, but um, we'd love to see something original and innovative. So I've put um, one little base layer of, of colour on the nail train. It just had a little bit of a shimmer in it just to jazz it up. But I do sometimes like doing it on solid, plain colour and then making my painting matte because I love the effect of, of the matte top coat. It diffuses the light so you don't get the glaring reflection off the picture that you've painted underneath. Um, there's so many different variations. I'm really excited to see what you guys all come up with. So feathers, well, they turned out to be much harder to paint than I thought they would the first time I did it. Um, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that impressive. I got better and better over time though. So I'm just going to leave you guys to watch the rest of this. And um, I hope you enjoy it. And go away, have a bit of fun, have a practice. Um, see what you can come up with. And we can't wait to see it.
So there it is, my finished little dream catcher with a little bit of collar just to make it um, pop out. I hope you've enjoyed it. We're really excited to see what you come up with. And hopefully again next month, we'll do something completely different. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. Thank you.